What is going on, everybody? This is SDoc21, welcoming you to my YouTube channel. That's a pretty fancy intro you got right there, isn't it? What is going on, everybody? This is SDoc21, coming to you with some more Pokemon Fire Red. Let's play in the last episode. Muck hit us with a sludge bomb and knocked us out in one shot. And if you don't know what Pokemon I'm referring to, it is Growlithe, the second Pokemon. In my party, if you haven't gathered that by now, it has been in the past couple of episodes, but just in case, Growlithe is number two in my party to go to the Elite Four. And Growlithe obviously does evolve into an Arcanine, which is a pseudo-legendary Pokemon which means he's a complete and total BAMF. Do you know what BAMF means? It's bad, but mother father. That's what it is. That's right. See, I didn't even swear. You guys thought I was gonna swear. Shame on you guys. We have to go heal up Growlithe because Growlithe was just one hit KO'd. So that's a problem. Raising up Growlithe from level 16 is going to be a little bit of a challenge because Obviously, I have such a huge gap between Charizard and, and Growlithe. Charizard's for, level 45, and Growlithe is, is now level 17, so... The only good thing is that we do face a Grass Gym coming up here in the next town, so... Oh, a double battle. Yeah, I should do the double battle. That'll actually make it easier to get XP for Growlithe. So let's go. Let's go. Let us go. Eli and Annie. Is Eli a girl's name? I thought Eli was more of a boy's name. Maybe? I don't know. If you're a girl and your name's Eli, put that down in the comment section below, because I want to know. Because I want to know things. See, Growlithe isn't that much weaker. It's, what, five levels weaker? So that's not too bad, but then again, that's still five levels. Alright, we are going to use Bite. No. We're going to use Ember, because we can't touch them. Because if we do touch them, then it'll be, it'll be a problem. Alright, so that one's done. Clefairy is gone. One hit KO. Adios. Hasta la vista. Charizard gained 159. Growlithe used Ember. Yep. Rollout. Thank goodness that missed, because Rollout would have been pretty effective, actually. And then Flamethrower. So Charizard's gonna knock it out, and Growlithe got some free XP for doing pretty much nothing. Look at that. Beautiful. That's how you go in and say, What's up? How you doing? We're here to win. Eli and Annie were defeated. I got 528 Pokebucks. I, I still don't know what that symbol stands for. Oops. Hit the wrong button. My, my mistake, guys. I will try not to do that next time. It's really, it's really interesting playing on my laptop to play this because... A and B are actually the Z and X keys, and then R and L are A and S. And then your D-pad would be the, whatever, the arrows. So it's it's a little bit interesting to try to adjust to it. And then start is enter, and backspace is select. So every time I try, ooh, what did that take out? That took out 23, so I can survive one more of those? Alright, um, anyway. That's not even that effective. Okay. Anyway, so anytime I hit my bike, I have to move my hand all the way up the keyboard and then come back down to the arrows, so it kind of gets a little difficult to do, because obviously you're reaching up there and trying to come back down, and if you miss, then you just look foolish, and so yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's a lot different than playing on the GBA, it stands for Game Boy Advance, or even the Nintendo DS. Have you guys ever played on the Game Boy Advance or Nintendo DS? And if you have... Why don't you let me know what your favorite game on there was? I think for me, my favorite game on Game Boy Advanced was this game, Pokemon Fire Red. Are you serious? Now I'm gonna die. Pokemon Fire Red, and then for the DS, it's a toss-up between Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon... No, not another Pokemon game, no. Pokemon Diamond and then Nintendogs. I love Nintendogs. My Nintendogs games were so much fun. I had both Labs and Dalmatian, and I always had three dogs, and I never got more because I felt really bad putting them in the, the daycare or kennel or pound or... No, it was kennel? Yeah, it was the kennel. I felt really bad putting them in the kennel, so I only did three dogs, and I just stuck with them. 
It was the cutest things ever. My favorite part of that game is you could go like on a run and there would be little presents that are just out in the road and then you'd pull them, like you'd pull the leash back if you were running and then they would go and pick up the present for you. And you can get some cool stuff, like I remember getting like a remote controlled helicopter and I don't know, like a special frisbee and a, a clock and stuff that you wouldn't find. My dogs always had the cutest accessories, like the girls always had like bows on their hair and the boys had like sunglasses or a cowboy hat or something or a fireman's hat. Ooh, that that was something that I picked up in in a present on the walk. So stuff like that. It was, it's just, it's fun. That game was so much fun. Let's battle this girl. We must look silly standing here like this. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You are correct. Alright. Five Pokemon. That means that I might have a chance. Yep, because they're all a little bit lower in level, which means Growlithe might be able to get a couple of these done and get all that XP. So we're going to use Ember. Solid. Solid execution. Yes. Sand attack. That's fine. As long as it doesn't hurt me, that's fine. Pidgey is hurt by its burn. I think Bite. Bite's a good idea. Bite wasn't a bad idea. I wish it would have one hit right there, but it's okay. The burn will get it. Ta-da! There we go. That's one Pokemon down. Four to go. Ooh, 223 does a lot. It's really, really weird having a Pokemon at level 17 and then one in the 40s, because obviously the, the XP does a different amount. Um, holy crap, that was effective, Rattata. Anyway, the XP does a different amount because when you're lower level, it doesn't take as much XP, so it's really funny to watch. Alright, we are going to switch Pokemon over to Charizard. And we are just, we're going to keep putting Growlithe out and then switching him out. So I apologize for all of you who are listening and keep hearing the ding 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 thing for low HP. We need Metal Claw. Get out of here, Rat Tata. You ain't nothing, man. See, Growlithe is still going to get 115, which isn't a lot, but that's still a lot more. Yes, I'm going to switch over to Growlithe. We're going to have Growlithe go out, and we're going to get the dinging sound back, so again, I apologize. You're going to send out your Pokemon, and then right here, it already counts as Growlithe being in the battle, and we are going to switch over to Charizard. But that's the other thing. How do you pronounce this? Do you pronounce it Charizard or Charizard with, like, an actual I sound? Because I've never pronounced the I, I just say Charizard. But I've heard people say Charizard, and I think they might have said Charizard on, like, some of the Pokemon episodes, like, the anime. So I don't know, what do you guys say? Do you guys pronounce the I or not? If you pronounce the A, or the A, goodness, if you pronounce the I, I'm good with vowels today. If you pronounce the I, put that down in the comment section below, and I accidentally hit B, because I forgot where my fingers were. So if you do, put that down in the comment section below, and if you don't, put that down in the comment section below, because I want to see what you guys say for Charizard. Charizard. Not Charizard. Charizard. And yes, we're going to switch Pokemon, because I screwed it up the first time, so my mistake, guys. My apologies. We've got one last Pokemon, Meowth, and then after this we are headed straight over to the Poke Center to start healing up. I was about to fight it and lose it. Oh my goodness, guys, I am just all sorts of flustered today. I don't know what it is, but I am just, I am doing what I'm doing. Oh, Payday. You made me lose money, you punk. Eat my flames. That was my flamethrower sound. Was that authentic, guys? Would you use that sound in a video if you were doing a flamethrower? I know I would. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. That would never happen. That's okay. Look what you did to my poor cute Pokemon, man! Got 304 Pokebucks. Should I, I think I should call them Pokebucks instead of Poke Dollars. Yeah, they're Pokebucks. I didn't did you hear the sound running into the Poke Center. That's just a fun sound. When you run into stuff, it's like bang, 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 bang. Got them all healed up. So we are going to be back out on the prowl for next episode, guys. We're not done yet. So I gotta get you to a cliffhanger. So let's get over. All 
Alright guys, in the next episode, we're going to start off battling this Chica right here. I will see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody. Alright guys, click the video on the left to take you to the previous video. Click my speed drawing and the 3D question mark on the right to take you to a random video. And as always, be sure to hit the big red button down below to subscribe.